at first when he was talking stuff to Bisming, I'm like, God, that's a terrible fight for Bisming. God, that's terrible. And then it hit me. I'm like, five rounds? Bisming really doesn't initiate in that grappling, and he has cardio for days? Mm -hmm. That's a tough fight to call. At first, I was like, yeah, Romero's going to fucking destroy Bisming. I'm like, not really, though, if you think about it. Not really. Who knows what could happen, but Dan Henderson caught Bisping twice bad in their last title fight at 45 years old or whatever it is. He did catch him really, really He caught bad. him bad. And Dan Henderson, who is one of the most ruthless power strikers in the game, for sure. And Bisping survived that. So that's good for Bisping that he was able to survive that. You know? you, you got to think, Yoel Romero doesn't just have a right hand. He flies. He lo literally launches himself at you. If he gets a hold of you, you, you the wrestling You're ability. Going for a ride. Dan Henderson's a, a silver medalist in the Olympics as well. But it's uh, different. It's, it's different. Different. Yeah. Especially Dan right now. What's Dan? Forty eight. I think he's forty six or forty five. He's up there either way. Yeah. But Romero's basically, you know, in his prime as an MMA fighter. Well, also there's like the range of motion. Yes. Like Dan's almost like locked up. Some would say stiff. Yeah. He's got. But if he hits you, you're fucksville. But he's like his range of motion is very limited. Where whereas Yoel is like a super athlete. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any limitations in his range of motion. He's ridiculously flexible. Like he does like a half split before he um, before he uh, fights. He was yeah. like down there like stretching out. You're like this guy's range of motion is insane. Th those knees and the flying knees, though, a lot of it, especially with Weidman, came from Weidman going for that single leg. Mm -hmm. He's like go go for that again, see what happens. Yeah, and where Bisping doesn't entertain the grappling at all. That's true. That's true. And he stays on the outside, and he also has that beast of a coach. Mm -hmm. But at first, right away, I was like, oh, God, that sucks. Because I love Bisping. I'm like, God, that's a bad fight for him. And I was sitting there, I'm like, well, cardio, five rounds. If he can survive those first two, maybe three, dragging late mm -hmm. water, it's a, a fun fight. You Definitely watch that bad, never bad know. boy. I mean, you can't, it's hard to do MMA math, right? MMA math. You do style, style matchups, right. though, right? Yeah. 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 But I was saying, like, Bisping lost to Tim Kennedy. Tim Kennedy lost to Yoel, but Tim Kennedy was beating Yoel. Like, that's another thing that Yoel's corner did this fight that was fucked up, man. They covered him with water. They threw water on him while he was sitting there resting. Well, Between was, first and second? Uh huh. They put an ice pack on him and they he poured water on himself. He poured it on his legs. He poured it on his arms. He poured it all over him. And they wiped him down. I mean, he was trying to cool himself off, yeah. probably. Yeah. But you're not allowed to do that. No. And they, they spent time wiping him down before the round started. So, mm -hmm. like, they wiped him down in between the corner, but then the referee stopped it and made them wipe him down more. So he gets more so rest. So he gets more rest. Really? Yeah, look, for sure they're aware when, when that happened with Tim Kennedy. When Tim Kennedy had him fucked up at the end of that second round, he absolutely and on purpose stayed on that stool longer than he was supposed Some to. Some would say it was a smart move. Yes. Obviously, it ended up working in his favor. It's smart if you're a cheater, if you're okay with cheating. But it is cheating. It's cheating. You have an allotted one minute. 100% is cheating. 100%. Yes. Right? You have Tim should have won that fight. And the referee should have probably stopped the fight. But I'm sure Big John didn't want the fight to end, didn't want to cheat everybody out of the fight, just wanted the guy to get back up. But then you cheat Tim Kennedy, who... Mm -hmm. The, is the one person you don't want to cheat out of this. And Tim, Tim is walking around, like, yelling while this Pissed. is all going off. Pissed. Yeah. The whole thing was a mess. It was a mess. That was a clusterfuck of a moment. But it just shows you this guy has a massive amount of experience in international competition in wrestling. And there's, like, a lot of shit that goes on in wrestling, you know, where you are you have to take advantage of whatever you can to win. You know, and the, 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 all these years of high-level competition on the international scene... He's probably got a bunch of little tricks like that he could do to slow down the pace or give himself a little extra time. And and when you, and what people oh what what's fifteen twenty seconds? Fifteen twenty seconds for a guy like Yo Romero to replenish giant. The, it, I mean, you're talking giant night and day difference for a guy like that. And I think it was also thirty seconds with the Tim Kennedy fight, if I remember, maybe twenty three. I felt like it was longer than that. I don't remember. You're talking about Stoolgate. Yeah, Stoolgate. Mm -hmm. um, but also then there's a psychological issue. Because Kennedy now thinks the fight's over. Is it not over? Like, he doesn't know where he's at. There's nothing worse than that. When you think the fight's over, and they're like, oh, no, 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 back in, man. Oh. 